Welcome everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us this evening. We have um, something very, very special planned for you and we hope this is going to be uh, beneficial uh, to you. Uh, we realize things are changing now and opening up gradually. And basically there's still many, many opportunities to be had, right? And especially in Canada. I know most of you have been worried, but uh, we are here today with Durham College to let you know that your study abroad dream can still be realized. Durham College is one of the leading institutions of Ontario. And more importantly, it's one of the few institutions that have been approved this week on October 20th by the, by the Canadian government to welcome international students. In addition to that, Durham College has a lot more to offer, its range of programs, employment opportunities, diversity, and so on. Joining us today is uh, the Southeast Asia representative of Durham College, Zishan Kamal, who will tell you, of course, a lot more uh, about the college, about its programs, application processes, fee, uh, scholarship opportunities, uh, to name a few things. So a very warm welcome to you, Zishan. Uh, thank you, Anam. Um, and welcome everyone to the session today. And a special thanks to uh, Mabel Assist for organizing the session for Durham College. Uh, it's a pleasure working with you guys. And uh, I think uh, over to you, Anam, and then we can start it from here. Yep, yep. Thanks, Zishan. So uh, quick house rules before we begin. Um, we are going to be doing a quick presentation. Zishan will be talking through all the important, uh, you know, points which are of interest to you. He'll cover everything from programs to scholarships as, you know, everything that I've just mentioned. After that, we'll be taking in your questions. So you'll notice that there's a Q&A section at the bottom of your page. Please use that to ask us your questions, but do listen very clearly to what Zishan has to say because he may be already answering some of the things during your presentation. But just remember this session is all about you and hearing you out. So uh, make the most of that and we'll make sure that your questions are asked and answered. Now, uh, of course, we are very thrilled to do this together with Durham College and show you what a wonderful opportunity you can have studying over there. Before we begin, I want to ask all of you a question. I, you know, it's quite clear you all of you are here because you want to study in Canada, but how much do you actually know about Canada? So can you tell me what is the capital of Canada? You'll see a poll in front of you. Please show uh, and vote for what you think is the correct answer. Is it Toronto? Is it Ottawa? Is it Vancouver? giving you 10 more seconds. Come on, a few more people are left. All right, I am ending this and I'm gonna show you all how you done. Okay. Okay, so Ottawa got the highest number of votes. So at least half of you have voted for Ottawa. Uh, followed closely by Toronto and then very few words for Vancouver. So yeah, <laughs> actually Ottawa is the correct answer. Well done to all of you who, who guessed that correctly. Um, now, uh, Zishan, you have already put together presentation. Yep. I also wanted to, I know you're going to touch upon why, uh, um, you know, everyone should think about studying in Canada and in particular in Durham. Uh, yeah. But now that we've asked them about um, Canada, would all of you know uh, about Durham College as well and where it's actually located? Here's a quick poll before Zishan takes over and does uh, a very great presentation for all of you. Is it London, Toronto or Oshawa? Where is Durham College located? All right, I can see some votes coming in. Thank you all for participating in this. Okay, a few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, Zishan. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Toronto is 45% and uh, 5% have voted for London. I'm going to stop sharing that. But Zishan, would you like to take over? Tell us about yeah. Canada. Tell us about Durham. And most importantly, can you please tell us what is the correct answer? Okay. Uh, yes, uh, the correct answer is Oshawa. Uh, we are in the greater Toronto area. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the city called Oshawa, that's where the college was established. Uh, however, there are other two campuses as well. One is in Whitby and the other one is at Pickering. Uh, but the options only had London, Toronto and uh, Oshawa. So the correct answer will be Oshawa. Yeah. <laughs> well done to half of you at least. And the others, we hope uh, you'll get to know Durham College uh, much better today. Right. So uh, before I start with uh, DC, I'll introduce myself. My name is Zishan. I'm the South Asia representative for Durham. Mm -hmm. And uh, I take care of marketing, recruitment and admissions for this region. Uh, the college is located in Canada as a country. Uh, is the second largest country in the world. Cost effective to study in Canada with tuition rates considerably lower than many other countries. Uh, we're looking at the cost of living in Canada for a student or an international student is approximately 10,000 Canadian dollars a year. Uh, the country happens to be uh, bilingual with both English and French as its official language. And Durham College, established in 1967 uh, in Ontario. Ontario is, the, is one of the provinces uh, in the city called Oshawa. Uh, it's a community and government funded college. And I did mention that it has three different campuses at Oshawa, Whitby and Pickering. Oshawa is the major and the biggest campus, 110 acres big campus um, with Ontario Tech University on campus. I will cover that later, but I just wanted to share that information. Whitby will house programs like hospitality, uh, culinary, tourism, horticulture, and other skill trades. And Pickering would have law-based programs and human resources. Perfect. So Zishan, that's... Uh... Do you have something else to share or could you tell us a little bit about why international students should consider studying at Durham College? Uh, a lot of reasons, but I, I'll start with a few highlighted ones that I have in the presentation as well. Great. And if you look at the other slide, uh, we're being rated as the number one college in the greater Toronto area for international student satisfaction, mm -hmm. uh, according to the KPI results, which is the key performance indicators. More than 30,000 students on campus in the distributed among the three, uh, spread over three campuses. More than 90,000 alumni uh, with an impressive graduation employment rate of 86.5% within six months of mm. completing the program and a 94.3% employer satisfaction rate, again, as per the key performance indicators at the KPIs. Okay. And about 2,100 international students representing 65 countries from around the world. And that's a big number. If I say 65 countries uh, with pathway opportunities for a bachelor's degree, various other universities uh, across Canada and the globe. Cool. Uh, I did mention earlier that Durham College does share a campus with Ontario Tech University. Mm -hmm. uh, students are looking uh, to complete a bachelor's degree uh, post the completion of their diploma can finish that from Ontario Tech University. Uh, we run about 50 to 55 pathway bachelor degree programs for students who want to complete the diploma and the two years, another two years at the university for the bachelors. Automatic, uh, sorry, automatic scholarship for the international students, uh, which is entry-based scholarships. We will cover that later. Uh, the college also provides free, free airport pickup service to international students from Pearson Toronto Airport. Uh, that's the landing airport for... Um, our college, uh, you will get down at Pearson International Airport, which is in, uh, which is uh, on Toronto. And from there, it will take an hour and a half more for you to get to Oshawa. And uh, from downtown Toronto, we're just an hour away, that's Oshawa. More than 140 full-time courses available for international students. And these programs are all market-driven and job-oriented, skill-based programs with experiential learning in the fields of business, culinary, uh, entering technology, health, horticulture, hospitality, skill trades, and tourism. Uh, about the three campuses, the Oshawa campus offers programs in the area of business, IT management, health community services, uh, justice and emergency services, media, art and design, science, and engineering technology, 
Uh, the campus is about 50 minutes to 60 minutes drive from downtown Toronto. Oshawa also happens to be the soul of automotive capital of Canada. The General Motors Canada was founded in Oshawa by Mr. Robert McLaughlin in 1907. It has been the home for General Motors for more than 110 years. Uh, about 1.7 lakh uh, people uh, as population in the city. The Whitby campus offers programs in the area of culinary, hospitality, horticulture, and special event programs. Uh, it also runs a three-star rated restaurant by the name of Bistro 67, which is the second most popular restaurant of the top 150 Oshawa Gems, uh, the list of restaurants. We have our own food farms and orchard planted, cultivated, and harvested by Center for Food Students from Durham College. Uh, we participate in hands-on learning opportunities using modern industry equipment. And at the Pickering campus, the site opened in September 2012 and is located to close to several major transportation routes. Offers four programs at the site for addictions and mental health, which is a psychology counseling-based counseling -based program human resources management, victimology, and youth justice and interventions, which are law-based programs. Great. So Great. that's wonderful, uh, Zishan. Um, now that you all have got to know a little bit about uh, Durham and its campuses, some of its programs, uh, Zishan will also get into uh, details about that. Could you actually begin and tell us about, you know, what your interest uh, is where does your interest actually lie? What would you actually like to pursue? Here are um, a couple of faculties uh, that we put down in front of you, a wide variety. Can you tell us what is your area of interest? Is it business, engineering or computer science, science, social science, social development, education, finance, humanities? What would you be interested in pursuing at Durham College? giving you a couple more seconds and let's launch that okay Zishan here mm -hmm. are your answers business is clearly the most uh, uh, you know one. Uh, popular one yeah. and followed closely by engineering and science and then a, a you know spattering here and there for the others so now could you please share what are the schools that uh, Durham College actually has? Sure. Uh, interesting mix of students that I see today. And I'm happy to know a lot from entering and, um, and other backgrounds as well, and business backgrounds in my I will offer some amazing postgraduate, undergraduate, or bachelor degree pathway programs. And I'll run through mm -hmm. the, for that. Allow me a moment. Uh, the Center for Food Programs in the field of hospitality, um, culinary management, horticulture, uh, technician, food farming, school of business, IT and management, health and community services, interdisciplinary studies, justice emergency services, PR art and design, science, engineering and technology, and school of skill trades, apprenticeship and renewable technology. Great. So I'm assuming now that uh, each of these schools will have a certain number of programs that you offer to international students. Yes. Yeah, could you tell us a bit about that? Sure, I'll take you to the other slide. I'll yeah. talk about the sort of programs we offer in these schools would be certificates, uh, which is post-secondary certificates for one year, uh, post-secondary mm -hmm. diploma for two years, post-secondary advanced diploma for three years with the co-op option, graduate certificate or postgraduate diplomas for one year each, mostly two semesters or three semesters, mm -hmm. compressed fast track programs in the field of science, engineering and technology, advanced diploma compressed into one year uh, because the students have a relevant bachelor's degree and the required subjects. Bachelor's degree, uh, two bachelor's degree at the college and pathway bachelor's degree about uh, more than 50 programs um, is what Durham College offers to international and domestic students. Okay, amazing. So, um, also, there are a few requirements uh, in terms of when you're looking to apply towards, uh, towards the program uh, yeah. at the college is that mm -hmm. we are not accepting an academic gap with work experience uh, for more than five years. So, let's say if you're looking to apply for, uh, uh, for January 2021, May 20, 
21 or September 21, the maximum we're looking at 2015 pass mm -hmm. out and nothing, uh, nothing beyond that and should have relevant work experience or should be working uh, in these five years, for at least three years. Not more than 10 backlogs and three attempts in total from the bachelor's degree. Uh, if yeah. applicable, if you're looking at a postgraduate program or a graduate certificate or a compressed fast track, so that's that's something we uh, look into. Uh, mm -hmm. Minimum for most of the programs, a minimum 50% required for your grade 10th and 12th um, uh, for post-secondary diplomas, certificates, advanced diplomas. That's for majorly most of the programs. And for undergraduate, which is your bachelor's degree, looking at a 50% minimum. These, this is for most of our programs. Some programs have a higher requirement at 70 or 60 percent, but uh, there are very few. So this is a generic requirement that I'm sharing. Uh, IELTS academic. We accept IELTS academic for undergraduate compressed fast tracks and for all of our programs. For undergraduate programs, which is post-secondary diploma certificates or advanced diplomas, the requirement for most of them is overall uh, score of six with no individual module less than six. So there are four modules, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. None of the modules can be less than six. And so if that's the thing, then the overall has to be six. For most of our compressed fast tracks um, and graduate certificates, overall 6.5 and none of the individual module, I did mention about them, uh, nothing less than six. Uh, currently we're accepting Duolingo English test scores. Uh, 105 for, 100, uh, for undergraduate programs for most of them and 110 for graduate certificates or compressed fast tracks. Uh, I'll repeat that. Uh, 105 for Duolingo English test for undergraduate or post-secondary diplomas, certificates, or advanced diplomas and uh, 110 for compressed fast tracks and graduate certificate programs. Great. This was actually the most important slide, uh, Zishan, because we had so many questions about backlogs, about, of course, requirements and the IELTS. So thanks. Thanks for covering that. Great. Uh, there's, a, there's a bit of more to this. I'll cover that in the other slide. And I'll please, take it uh, please. from here. And yes. it's regarding the application process. Just to make sure that your applications are done correctly, there's no error to it because uh, rectifying an application, incorrect application may actually take more time than it takes for you to get a final offer. So if, mm -hmm. let's say, if the final offer could be released in 15 days, correcting the application and then getting back to you will take at least a month. So right. that is why we share this slide and tell them, make sure that your application is complete. We will tell you what are the documents that you will need to uh, make mm -hmm. a complete application in the next slide. No incorrect information, please. Please mention all details as per your passport, even the address uh, and your contact details, which is your telephone number and your mobile phone number and your email address. We will connect with you a lot through emails. So please make sure it is something that you're checked. It's an email address that you check regularly and, uh, and it should be working. There's a hundred Canadian dollar application fee for international students that allows them to choose two programs. Uh, two different programs for the same intake or two programs for two different intakes. Mm -hmm. Again, the important part, the documents that you will need to make incorrect and a complete application. First and foremost, which is the bottom point, is the passport. That's mm -hmm. the most critical thing. You'll need a passport uh, for you to be able to get an IELTS or do an IELTS and for also to make an application. So, uh, first page of the passport and the last page of the passport, which has the address, should be uploaded when you're making the application. Grade 10th and 12th transcript and passing certificate, which is grade 10th, 12th high school. High school, secondary school or diploma and passing certificate, college or university, individual transcript, which is either semester wise or yearly or whichever way you get it and passing degree certificate, at least a provisional passing certificate. Proof of English language prof uh, proficiency, IELTS academic or Duolingo, only these two are accepted. Duolingo is only accepted to May 21. If you're looking to apply for September 21, only IELTS academic and your application should be complete. You cannot make uh, an incomplete application. The application will be rejected. You end up with $100 Canadian dollars. Make, an, make a complete application if you apply for September 21. Okay. 
Great. Uh, I can see that we're getting quite a few questions already. So just hold on, uh, listen to the rest of the presentation. There are a lot of uh, more important points that Jishan will be covering. And we promise to get to you and get your questions answered. Now, something very, very crucial that's on everyone's minds, Jishan, is what is an approximate tuition fee and what are the kinds of scholarships that uh, you know international students can uh, make use of at Durham sure. College? Uh, I think it's during the next slide. Okay. Great, yes. Tuition fee and the scholarship. Um, for most of our programs, whether you look to study a one-year post-secondary diploma or certificate, a, a post-secondary diploma or an advanced diploma or a graduate certificate compressed fast track, Mostly, the tuition fee ranges between fifteen to seventeen thousand Canadian dollars, approximately for most of our programs. Majority of them would be around fifteen thousand five hundred to sixteen thousand Canadian dollars. A few programs would be around seventeen thousand five hundred or seventeen thousand six hundred Canadian dollars. That's the maximum. That's that's the range that we're looking at, and that's per per year, which means two semesters. We do provide scholarships, entry-based scholarships to students, which is. Uh, uh, completely de uh, dependent on the ILTS for the Duolingo score that they get. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's mentioned here an ILTS overall score of 7.5 with no module less than six. 1250 Canadian dollars only for the first year. It is going to be awarded to the student in the second semester of the program. And if the score of ILTS academic is eight, then 2000 Canadian dollars. Uh, only for the first year again to be awarded in the second semester of the program. Uh, a Duolingo score of 125 or above, the scholarship is 1250 Canadian dollars, again, only for the first year to be awarded in the second semester. It's Canadian dollars. Like I mentioned, yes, they credited the second semester to you. Awesome. Okay, so say a student has applied and now plans to make their journey to uh, Canada and to Durham College, uh, what kind of accommodation can they avail? Um, they have a, a good variety and a wide range of uh, accommodation to choose from on campus. I'll cover the on campus and I'll share a bit uh, information on that uh, in the slides as well. The numerous options uh, available to both on and off campus to suit a range of budgets and lifestyles. Let's cover the on campus first, and then we'll talk about off campus. The Oshawa campus has accommodation in Simcoe and South Village residence. Uh, the South Village residence uh, uh, features a cafeteria, study recreation areas, furnished two bedroom private suites only for two students. So one bedroom for one student in suites in, include cable television, a kitchenette with fridge and microwave, internet access, telephone, and three bathroom. That's the South Village residence. The Simcoe Village residence offers a choice between furnished double rooms and semi-divided for privacy or furnished suites with two private bedrooms. The West Village residence offers uh, features beautiful apartment style suites designed for students where on-site management offers controlled access to security, on-site laundry, individually controlled air conditioning, and many social areas. If you look at the other slide, it may not be a bit clear, and this is what uh, was the pricing in 2019 to 2020 academic year. You can look at the accommodation. So um, in the South Village, you see it's a semi-private, which is divided two bedrooms, uh, one kitchen and washroom shared on the top. And the other one's a uh, semi-private one, a Whitby residence, a Central Hall, North Hall, Simcoe Village, the South Hall, and these accommodations are ranging. If you look at the bottom one at the right, which says 3,450 Canadian dollars, eight month leads, is only 12 units, they're bunker beds. So four students, two bunker beds. The so four students uh, can share this, uh, and that's the room you see at the bottom, but these are only 12 units and taken away um, early. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and taken away early. If you've paid well in advance and you're more prepared, and if you want to do this early, you may be lucky and you may be able to get this accommodation as well. But if you're looking at an average cost, uh, it is ranging between 750 to about 950 Canadian a month. Um, and if you're looking at a meal plan on campus, then uh, minimum 450 Canadian dollars. So uh, if you're at the total cost every month, you're spending about thirteen hundred Canadian dollars a month staying on campus, a separate room for yourself with all these puzzles available. 
Okay. Great. I think that's a lot of great options uh, for students. Um, before I ask you uh, the next question, Zeeshan, I would really want everyone to share what intake they're actually interested in because okay. we can get uh, a sense of uh, yes. when they want to study at uh, Durham so College we're, and when we're, they want to come. Yeah, great. You know, thanks for sharing that, uh, Adam. We're open for all of uh, all three intakes currently, so January, mm -hmm. May, and uh, September 2021. Majorly right. programs run in September and January. There's still a lot of programs available in these intakes. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, couple more seconds, guys. Please let us know when do you want to study at Durham College? Is it in Jan, May, or September 2021? I am ending the poll now. Okay. So most of the interest is for September, of course, but I think quite a bit of interest for Jan, uh, which which is really great to see, Zishan. And going on that response, could you actually tell us about a little about Jan intake? You've said that it's still open. What would be the program delivery? Uh, so for January 2021, the program, so um, yes, let's start with the program delivery method first. Thanks. Yeah. I, I'm laying an emphasis on the word program delivery method um, and because, the, this, because it, there's a significance to this in a later conversation. So mm -hmm. uh, the programs are, most of them are going to run remote, which means online. Yeah. Uh, mostly except for a few science and engineering technology programs where on campus lab requirement is there then they may come on campus. Otherwise, the rest of the program for them also, it's a hybrid model, so we'll also run online. So unless they have to do the labs. Right. Okay. And uh, what kind of orientation uh, process or arrivals uh, does Durham College offer? Sure. I'll, I'll share that next slide. So Yeah. Great. Uh, at the uh, international student orientation, which will definitely be virtual this time, uh, how would they say how you're supposed to get your student ID card, getting or setting up your health insurance? This is may not be required for students who are studying from here, but once you're getting there, it may be a requirement. Setting up a bank account in Canada, working in Canada, assistance in finding local housing, how to get a cell phone work in Canada, sign up for your Durham College email, Durham College Connect, and my campus. And what are the successful? Uh, what are the tips to be successful at Durham College? The best practice sharing. In addition to this, uh, the students will also attend the college-wide orientation, where students will meet the professors and the classmates, find out more detailed information about the program, meet the student services team, and discover a number of on-campus services. Uh, enjoy the many fun activities. I'm sorry, this is not happening this year due to COVID-19. <laughs> But this this is, has been happening every year before the pandemic hit the world around. Uh, I'll skip the fun activities, but once things get back to normal, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of celebration on campus. Yeah. Yes. So that's uh, that's the international student orientation. And other than that, uh, college offers airport pickup and quarantine services, which is which is at a very discounted rate for students. A quarantine facility at discounted rates, assistance with arranging temporary accommodation, and assistance with finding long-term accommodation for students who are looking to come to Canada. That is Great. what we offer uh, for arrival services for students. And I guess this is important actually to mention to students right now because uh, as I mentioned early on in uh, uh, the session that Durham College is actually, uh, you know, been one of the few institutions that has got approved to welcome international oh, yes. students, which yes. is the yes. news of the hour. So, yes, it is. Uh, you, you see, I can't stop smiling about it. And, <laughs> and yes, we're very excited and we're happy to announce that we've been shortlisted and amongst the few DLIs that have been allowed uh, to welcome students on campus for uh, the January and the ongoing semesters. However, when I mentioned a few uh, uh, moments earlier about the program delivery method, even if you're able to fly to Canada, once you have all documents complete and you have a visa, uh, if the program delivery method is remote, then you'll be doing your classes from your residence or from your home. Uh, mm -hmm. Quarantine facility is a must for 14 days. 
Your quarantine plan will have to be submitted to the college in advance. Only then, um, and, and then it'll be easier for you to submit things even at the Canadian Border Services and easy and making things much easier for you to move to Canada around that time. Great. Yeah. So either way, you know, you know that Durham Colleges then has made a lot of arrangements so that uh, not only can you study at home or uh, on campus, you can study remotely. And there are a lot of services here available for you um, to make use of. So that's that's great, Zishan. Thank you. Um, yeah. Now, of course, you know, we've mentioned a lot of support services. Uh, can you actually also tell us about something that you've been doing for the past two years, which is the Durham Assist app, uh, sure. which goes beyond your usual help of, you know, say on the websites and emails? Yeah. So, yeah, uh, great. Thanks for uh, mentioning that, Adam. Uh, mm -hmm. It's it's an app um, uh, friendly for Apple phones and Android phones, both of them. And uh, mm -hmm. you can download it. That app helps you transition from here to Canada as a with uh, a lot of handy information where you have to upload your visa so that we know that you already had a visa, upload your payment details, we approve you, you're able to meet your classmates or connect with them. A lot of uh, contests going on on the app and uh, I'll share it here with you. It's called the Durham Assist app. These are the links for Android phones and at the app store for Apple. Mm -hmm. And you can download the app and uh, create your login ID get to know about more programs available. Uh, and, and then, like I mentioned, there are a lot of contests running. So Anam, um, uh, maybe you could set, uh, shed some light on that uh, later. But yes, please yeah. download the app for more handy information. And we communicate a lot through this app with you, giving you updates about um, anything about the COVID-19 update, which is there on the website as well, but very handy for you on the app as well. Yeah, thanks, Ishan. So, I mean, uh, I think this sounds really useful even if I'm saying it myself, we have actually partnered with Durham College to bring you the Durham Assist app. It's super useful. Uh, you know, all your latest updates are available there. All the information that you want to know about the college is also available. If you just search on your phones, you'll be able to find it. We will also share these links in our follow-up mails to you uh, yeah. in case uh, you would uh, require that. Yes, and we do a couple of fun contests. We do have a couple of quizzes as well uh, on the phone, things, interactive things to keep you engaged. Um, so yeah, so please, please download it and you know experience it for yourself. Um, now, before we end here, uh, Zishan, uh, there is a final question for all of you. And I'm just going to share it in a second. We would really, really love to know uh, so that we can, you know, uh, better serve your needs. Have you already applied to study at Dadham College or not? Are you someone who has applied or are you someone who is yet to apply and that's why you've come to attend this webinar and hopefully we will uh, you know convert you <laughs> okay couple more seconds thank you i can see quite a few have already uh, responded few more seconds please given your vote have you already applied to durham yes or are you yet to apply then please put in no all right now I'm closing that. Okay, I think Zishan, you should be happy to see these results. Wow. Uh, about 78% of those who are here have actually not applied to study at Durham. Okay. And 22% have already applied. Thank you. And I hope uh, this was useful. Yeah, sorry, Zishan, please. Yeah, great. Uh, that's, that's, that's a very interesting mix. And um, mm -hmm. so I'm sure a lot of them are looking forward to January 21, May and September. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, those who have already applied, I'm sure they do have a lot of questions uh, for me here today. And I'll be glad to answer them. Uh, and over to you, Anam, whichever way you'd like to take this further from here. But thank you very much for listening through and uh, going through our presentation. Thank you. Thanks. So that was a great presentation, Zishan. Now I am getting right into it and I'm going to start asking you the questions. Thank you all for being very patient and listening in. Um, we're going to begin the Q&A now. Uh, okay, let's begin. So what PG programs are offered and is distance learning degree acceptable for PG programs? 
and this person is also asking what will be the minimum percentage required for admission i know some of these things you may have already covered zishan but some people joined in late that's okay. or that's early okay. that's so fine if I you don't mind sharing that. i'll repeat that yeah. um there are a lot of graduate certificate programs that we have to offer which is at, yeah. are at a graduate certificate level um mm -hmm. in the field of law in the field of uh, business it management and the uh, compressed fast track in the field of science engineering and technology um, graduate certificates in health and community service and others i we don't know which program you're looking at but most yeah. of these programs like majority of them about 80 80% of them the requirement would be overall 50% the backlogs and reattempts in total not more than 10 uh the academic gap for not more than 5 years including the relevant work experience so this is all what we look at and um, and of course the ILTS overall 6.5 no individual module less than 6 perfect thank you so if you actually share exactly which program you are looking at then i think zishan can you know uh, give you a more detailed answer in that sense ankit is saying hello to you zishan <laughs> hello ankit hi how are you I'm sure we've spoken before, and that's that, that's why the hello is coming. But if you do have a question, just uh, put it there. I'll be glad to answer it. But good to have you here. I think you've already applied. Awesome. Uh, Felix is asking January 2021 intake for media production and broadcast courses, like in a PG, uh, is something like this available? Uh, Felix, uh, we have specialized programs in. Um, um, broadcasting and uh, radio contemporary media uh, web designing interactive media design graphic design game art yeah. uh there are specialized programs advanced diploma for 3 years video production animation or diplomas mm -hmm. for 2 years at the post graduate level we would have advertising digital media management which is a one year mm -hmm. graduate certificate program okay great that's a lot felix for you to actually look up and follow up on thank you zishan uh sharmi is interested in computer science uh if you have any specific question uh, then please uh do do let us know anything about computer science yeah um, um okay zishan, so i can anything? yeah yeah i can answer that question sharmi uh we offer okay. programs at the undergraduate level uh mm -hmm. for computer systems technician two years diploma computer systems technology three years advanced diploma with a co with a co-op option uh yeah. computer programming uh and computer programming and analysis again a three years advanced diploma with a co-op option these are mm -hmm. programs uh, at the undergraduate level uh, it uh related programs would be data analytics for business decision making cyber security artificial intelligence analysis design and implementation um so these are a few programs at the graduate certificate level okay amazing um shirley is asking is there any course related to social work uh yes um uh two years uh, specialized diploma in social services worker or, mm -hmm. or specialized uh, program in developmental services worker uh, yeah. a relevant program for students with a bachelor's degree in so, uh, social work or sociology uh, or with a similar background or even grade 12 these are specialized okay. program for 2 years each great shelly i hope that answers your question you can choose from a couple of these options and see what you'd like to do uh mobian is asking about advertising and digital media management mm -hmm. uh hi mobian and uh, the program uh, now runs in september 2021 uh, it's a one year graduate certificate uh in the field of digital media management or digital marketing um the fee is about 17500 canadian dollars for the program which is which runs for two semesters okay great uh okay ankit has a question what is the duration of a bachelor's degree um so we offer two bachelor's degree healthcare technology and management and the other one is autism and behavioral science uh behavioral science honors degree if you're looking mm -hmm. if uh, that's for four years eight semesters if you're looking at a pathway bachelor's degree in the field of computers uh, engineering mechanical engineering uh, it uh, then probably you're looking at still four years but nine semesters which is one additional semester that makes it nine semesters but four years duration you get an applied diploma and a bachelor's degree as well okay great uh we have i can i just tell you zishan we have 50 plus questions right now 
so we will don't worry everyone we will go through it i'm starting from the questions that came before and i'll make it uh, to your question for sure <laughs> we are both uh, here to just uh, make sure your queries are answered so just uh, stick around um, and we'll get to you uh, mohammed is asking uh, does dalram college accept correspondence bcom that uh, i think he did it in 2019 and would I that think, be acceptable yeah mudassar we're fine with the correspondence just make sure everything is above 50% your mm -hmm. backlogs and reattempts in total are not more than 10 uh, okay. we will accept the correspondence okay awesome should be from a legitimate uh, university uh, or an institute Okay, someone anonymous has said, I have applied at Durham College for my two-year diploma course that is in social service work for Jan 2021. If I get admission, will I get an option of studying online or is it compulsory to come to Canada and study offline? I can have a look at that for you. I'll have to check what is the delivery method for your, pro, uh, for your program for Jan. Uh, and then probably I can confirm that. And what yeah. we can do, yeah. Anam, is in the meantime, we can answer the other question while I open sure. the picture. And we'll get back to, yeah. yeah. And if you could please share your name and we can also then uh, address you afterwards. Um, moving on, Shreya is asking about higher graduation courses. I'm not quite sure what you mean, Shreya. Do you mean post-graduation courses and like those are available? Yes, graduate certificate, post-graduate courses. Uh, yes, available. Yeah, I, I I have the answer for the the social service worker student. Perfect. Yeah, okay. the program uh, the delivery method is going to be remote. If your mm -hmm. question is if I get an option of studying online, yes, the option is online. You can it will have to be online in the first semester. It's not yeah. compulsory for you to come to Canada. So you can complete the program uh, online from India the first semester. If you want to come in the second semester, you can. Okay. Perfect. Thanks, Rishan, for looking that into that immediately. Um, okay, another, another person is asking, what about the quarantine plan uh, at Durham College? Do students have to pay the cost for the hotel in which they're quarantined? If yes, is it too expensive? No, it's not. Thanks for bringing that up. Um, so uh, it's already discounted. It's like more than uh, about 50% of it is already paid by the college. And um, you get a bursary, so uh, bursary code. And I think mm -hmm. uh, the last time the expense were somewhere around uh, 600 to 700 Canadian dollars last year for That's you right. to stay to be like the pickup was uh, included from the airports, dropped to the quarantine facility and 14 mm -hmm. days of quarantine with links for food and other essentials that could be delivered to your hotel and uh, mm -hmm. to your residence and one room for one person. Um, uh, I don't think it's that expensive. Uh, if you're looking at a uh, minimal living cost at a hotel uh, in, in these areas, you're looking at anything at 100 Canadian dollars every day. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's the average cost. And um, so this is coming to you about uh, much way less than that, so almost 50%. Um, I don't think it's that expensive, but yes, uh, it depends on what your budget is, but it should be somewhere around 700 Canadian dollars at the max. I do not know what it's going to be for Jan, but that's that's what it should be. That's for right. To announce, think, yes. Yeah, yeah. Because for September, I think it was something between 550 and 7, you're right, Zizan. Yes, yes, somewhere and, around that figure. And it was a great discount because the actual uh, cost yeah. of a 14 day stay, as Zishan said, like an everyday cost at a hotel is very expensive here. Yeah, the airport it, pickup actually is the cost, too. yeah, everything was coming out as 1400 Canadian dollars. And don't miss, okay. you're also getting picked up from the airport with a greeter and, and you're being dropped. So that's being taken care of. You're saving another 100 Canadian dollars here. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, yeah, hope that answers your question. It is uh, uh, the costs for Jan have not yet been announced. We will definitely yeah. update you. And also yes. if you download the Durham Assist app, Maple Assist actually takes care of your arrival services. Arrival so we services, will give you an yes. update very soon. Uh, so please do that. All right. Um, next is, uh, okay. I think there's the same correspondence bachelor's question. We've already answered that. Uh, Zishan has also said that it's accepted as long as it's from a recognized institution. Uh, 
Ankit is asking about a university specific transcript. Okay, uh, I know what he means. So uh, by, by that, when I was sharing the presentation, Ankit, I mean that if you've been awarded a semester-wise mark sheet, we'll need all semester-wise mark sheet. Uh, if you've yeah. been about, uh, awarded an annual mark sheet, like four to three years bachelor, and you got one mark sheet every year, we'll need all three. That's what I meant. So if it is okay. uh, semester-wise, then semester-wise, or if it is yearly, then yearly. Perfect. I know you've already asked, uh, answered this, Zishan, but Bharat is asking how many backlogs does Durham actually... Okay, that's quick, uh, so I'll answer that. Uh, the yeah. backlogs <laughs> and re-attempts in total, not more than 10. So if it is okay. 11, then no. If it is 10, then okay, it's fine. We will accept that. Okay, thanks. That's done. Parvinder is asking, I wanted to check about dental hygienist cost. He yeah. is a BDS with a five-year university degree graduate from India, of course, and you want to know about eligibility criteria and about the course. Uh, Pravindra, uh, um, uh, really disheartened okay. to say we don't offer the dental hygienist students to internet uh, so program to international students. Uh, um, it's, right. it's an oversubscribed program um, uh, and for mm -hmm. domestic students only. However, there are other options um, in uh, relation to dentistry or dental uh, surgery or BDS would be dental assisting level one and two, one year post secondary certificate, and dental reception and administration. Both of these programs are one year each, and the fee for dental assisting is about uh, seventeen thousand five hundred Canadian dollars, whereas dental reception is about fifteen thousand five hundred. Okay, great. So, uh, Parvinder, maybe this course is not there, but you definitely have other related courses that you can definitely look into. Uh, next, hi there, Tafira. Hello. Um, now she's asking, I haven't done an IELTS exam. What shall I do? Uh, well, it depends on which intake you're talking about, Tafiri. Okay. And um, you will still have to take the IELTS academic exam to apply for a visa if you're from India mm -hmm. uh, or a country which comes under the student direct stream, which is the SDS. Um, Alternatively, if you're looking to apply for Jan, you can take a Duolingo English test, get the OPA letter. Uh, however, for the visa, you will still need IELTS academic. So either way, I think you should just go and take the exam, right? Yes. If you're looking at a future intake, then um, wait till you take the exam. I think uh, probably in a month or two, things should open up. And you should be, uh, computer-based programs are happening, but uh, wait for the one if you want to take that one in physical writing. And if, uh, if it's May or September, you'll have time for May and September, till uh, December end to apply. So uh, for January, uh, the only way is then you take a Duolingo and wait for it to take the IELTS date and then. All right, perfect, that's done. Uh, Mobin is asking about the name of the app. This is the Durham, Assist, assist app. Yes, it's Durham Assist app. Also, let me do. I'm not able. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Done. Perfect. Thanks, Zishan. Um, can you please share the link of the app? Okay, I'm going to try and just find the link and share it with you. But in the meantime, if you check on your Android or Apple phones, if you just search for Durham Assist, it's the first thing. You'll we'll find our logo. Yeah, yeah, the logo will be there. All right, now there is a long, okay. Uh, Kedar Nasir has asked us, uh, I'm an undergraduate student from India pursuing my MBBS second year. He's going to complete it soon. I heard that there is a possibility of credit transfer or account transfer uh, by which he can continue his further studies at a US or UK or I'm assuming Canadian university. Is that possible? And he's a merit-based Not with us, student. Uh, not with us yeah. and neither Ontario Tech uh, because they don't mm -hmm. offer an MBBS. You will have to uh, look for a university that does offer a program like that. And um, yeah. I recommend that you do get in touch with their international team mm -hmm. and they'll be able to help you further in, in that regard. Uh, with us, uh, I'm afraid we would not have a program for you. Sure, thank you. Ankit is asking, um, the scholarship is a little less. <laughs> well, uh, I think you have a couple of scholarships though. 
uh, you did mention the IELTS based ones, but um, and yeah, there's there some, there's some on the website as well. Yeah. Um, I'm sure uh, Ankit, you'd find um, uh, the, the link on the website, just write scholarships and funding, you'll be able to find that. And uh, there is no scholarship for living in their home. Um, <laughs> in fact, you'll have to pay to, to live in their home. But you do, you can make use of the, uh, the GIC program. So uh, even though you have to put in 10,000 Canadian dollars and um, uh, apply for that with a bank like Scotia Bank uh, before you get to Canada, but the idea is you'll get interest on that amount and then you'd be given a specific amount each month. So it'll be almost like I'm putting this in investment and each month I'm getting uh, the amount that I require, which will, you know, pay for my expenses and my rent on a monthly basis. So, you know, there are things like this, but yeah, a scholarship for just, you know, living uh, uh, in Durham is, I don't think that's quite possible. Um, Anne-Marie is asking, could it be possible to get a scholarship with a, a band seven IELTS? No, there isn't any, just 7.5 or 8. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Uh, next, Peter is asking, is IELTS compulsory? This is the second one. Uh, we had a lot of questions actually on Facebook and Instagram as well about the IELTS. Uh, what if our academic language uh, one is in English during schooling and college? Would that make IELTS necessary or not? Yes, I think that's a very good question. Take, you will have but, to still have to take the IELTS yeah. yes, academic test. Even yeah. though, even though you've studied completely in English, uh, throughout your, your first language, English, maybe English, yeah, maybe right? English, but you will to prove your uh, English proficiency, you need to take the test. Yeah. That will be IELTS academic, please. Uh, anything in health and science, Zisha? Um, any yes, uh, mostly diplomas uh, in, uh, uh, for uh, dental assisting, dental reception mm -hmm. and administration, practical nursing. Very high requirements, very high requirements for practical nursing, even the IELTS is very high, but social services worker, personal support worker, developmental services worker, early childhood education. Um, these are the programs we offer in under School of Health and Community Service. Okay, wow. Uh, so yeah, and I, all this, the program list should also be available on the Durham website. It will also be available on the Durham Assist app. So, you know, you can explore the options depending on the faculty that you're interested yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, is Durham College affiliated to Oshawa Technical University? Uh, well, okay, a nice question. Uh, first, it's not Oshawa Technical University, it's Ontario Tech. And, uh, uh, and uh, uh, the colleges you don't have an affiliation like our Indian system uh, with University of Canada. Mm -hmm. They're separate mm -hmm. legal entities. Uh, we're a government-funded, uh, public and government-funded community college, and uh, run pathway bachelor partnership programs with Ontario Tech University for bachelor's mm -hmm. degree. Okay, perfect. Um, can you share some information about PG courses for business studies and MBA? Uh, we missed one, uh, 12 percent. Do you want to let me answer that. What is the minimum percentage of 12 required to apply for computer science? Yeah, uh, this is the question. Ankit, about, yeah, you can take that. Okay, sure. Ankit, yeah. Uh, you need grade 12 science, 50% overall. Grade 12 math, 50% mm -hmm. overall. Um, IELTS overall, six, nothing less than six. You're good to go for computer system technician, technology, computer programming, and uh, computer programming and analysis. Perfect. Okay, going back to the question, uh, business and MBA PG courses. Uh, graduate certificate programs in human resources management, project management, international business management, um, data analytics for business decision making, four options. Okay, awesome. Uh, each one year um, with industry-based projects in the program, like capstone projects or a field placement in human resources management in the in the third semester, uh, the other programs will have uh, capstone projects in them. Okay. And Dhruv has also asked about business programs. So I guess that would uh, be At the undergraduate level, uh, should be mm -hmm. marketing, supply chain, human resources, accounting, finance, three years mm -hmm. and three years advanced diploma. And uh, for graduate certificate, I just mentioned the four of them. Got it, got it. Uh, 
thank you joseph is asking uh, that he's applied for hospitality hotel and restaurant operations management right joseph i hope you've uh, received your offer letter if not then you can share your student id uh, in the chat box mm -hmm. uh, with me and i can ask my team to have a look wait for you uh, but if you do have a question around it you're still free to ask you can you can put that in the in the question question and answer box perfect and i think he's asking if the uh, co-op option is available uh okay. yes there's a field placement in the program that will be alerting me at the bis 367 uh, if not then and other places for that you know and handle the front office part okay great that is it chami is asking again which pg courses are available for computers she has a 6.5 overall percentage with no less than 6 band and she's completed a bca with a 5.68 g cgpa um, Uh, January cyber security one year data analytics for business decision making and uh, artificial intelligence analysis design and implementation i'm assuming the number of backlogs and retemps in total are not more than 10 for you yeah okay available for jan 21 you can apply to these programs today oh perfect uh jinali is asking uh, does durham have a project management pg diploma course yes graduate certificate program project management available january may and september 2021 all three intakes great uh another question what is the scope of victimology do you offer victimology uh yes we do so oh, okay. this person would like to do a pg in victimology uh what are the job prospects and probability of getting one then in canada after they study uh the program is for two semesters the program runs for two semesters you need a bachelor's of law uh, above 67.5% overall and the career options for the programs are you could be a victim services advocate victim witness assistance worker uh, a social worker but the places where you could work is police and criminal justice system social community services social work victim crisis services criminology law and advocacy community services uh, service agencies uh, also child and youth protection probation and parole so uh, uh, if you talk about uh, uh, jobs yes jobs in all of these fields and these areas in the region where we are which is just a 45 km stretch uh, we mm -hmm. have our own uh, local court in the city where we are okay Great! I think that sounds very fascinating, and uh, so you really offer quite a wide scope of courses for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Prachi is asking if I choose Jan twenty twenty one intake, but my course is remote, uh, remotely available. Will I be allowed to travel to Canada, or will I have to study from my home country? Uh, so, as per the new announcement for the DLIs, they are um, allowed to welcome students to Canada. Congratulations! I'm very excited to tell you and share with all of you that Durham College is one of the the 14 institutes allowed in Ontario mm -hmm. as of now. And um, if you have a valid study permit and you have all the necessary documents required for you with your quarantine facility, informed to the college in advance, and books and everything in place, uh, you can travel to Canada. Great. So there you go, Prachi. You can definitely travel if you have your visa and all required documents. Rahul is asking. I have completed my bachelor's in 2016 with no backlogs and distance learning mode. Since then, I'm working. I have, and he has five years of experience. Looking to do some to do project management in September 2021. Is he eligible to apply for distance learn with the distance learning bachelor's, and with that sort of work experience and study gap? I don't know, yeah, Rahul. You haven't mentioned haven't mentioned your uh, experience in uh, what sort of an experience it is, but you've mentioned it's five years of experience, uh, mm -hmm. and you also haven't mentioned what you've studied in your bachelor's. Uh, more likely, if uh, uh, I think you should be good, unless you're a doctor who wants to do project management, we would not recommend, mm -hmm. or a nurse. But um, that's that's a program where most uh, more people from all the skills mostly. all the skills can do the program what tells you about cost management quality risk assessment project planning execution resourcing all of these are part of the program okay perfect 
distance learning is fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rahul, another Rahul is asking, I am a fifth, fifth year law student right now to know about the present position of applications uh, regarding conditional applications for September 21. Can you please tell me about practical prospects of doing a PG diploma course in law? Um, I don't understand what the question means, practical prospects, but uh, let me read your entire question. I guess what can we maybe do afterwards? Yeah, I mean, do a job uh, in in the relevant field if that's what that mm -hmm. you are asking, Rahul. Um, mm -hmm. But let me start with the first question. I want to know about the present position of applications in regard of conditional applications for September 21. We're not accepting conditional applications for September 21. It'll have to be a complete application, uh, uh, and uh, uh, furnish me regarding practical prospects after PG diploma courses as well. So. Uh, yeah, a lot of jobs available in the region where we are, and in a lot of, uh, I did share about one of the law-based programs, which is victim justice and interventions with technology, uh, and um, the others would also have a similar sort of scope in different fields, and the programs could be paralegal, uh, advanced law enforcement, uh, victimology, mediation, alternative dispute resolution. Uh, what I can also do is I can share the email address where you can write to us uh, if you have more questions around the law based program, and we can send you detailed information. Great. Uh, is there any application fee? Yes, 100 Canadian dollars. Perfect. Uh, Janali has come back with another question. How many years? I'm assuming this is uh, the PG in. Uh, uh, if it? it's a PG, then usually one year, which is two semesters, uh, depending yeah. on the program. If it is human PG resources, diploma course. Semesters. Yeah. This is a and PG if it is diploma. undergraduate, then two years or three years. Perfect. If you want to study for two years at the postgraduate level, you can club two one-year programs, one after the other, which means you can mm -hmm. customize your postgraduate diploma. One year, mm -hmm. for example, one year international business management and the second year project management, or one year artificial intelligence, the other year cybersecurity or project management. That's possible. Okay, perfect. Um, is a 5.5 IELTS acceptable? Uh, Sirajuddin has done a bachelor's and master's in mechanical engineering. I'm afraid, in Siraj, you'll have to retake the test. Uh, we are not accepting 5.5. For any graduate certificate, it'll have mm -hmm. to be 6.5, nothing less than 6, or a compressed fast track. Perfect. Raj is interested in artificial intelligence analysis, design and implementation, the graduate certificate. Um, if you could just maybe tell us a little bit about that, Zishan. Yeah, the program is for one year available for January. Uh, mm -hmm. You need your bachelor's degree in IT uh, or computers or computer mm -hmm. science. Um, it could be a BCA, BIT, bachelor's of computer science. Um, and you can apply to the program. Minimum percentage again required is 50%. And the IELTS is overall 6.5, nothing less than 6. Okay. Okay, another question. I want to apply for two years diploma in digital media marketing, but Durham only has a one-year graduate diploma. Any suggestions? And what's the difference between a graduate certificate and advanced diploma? Advanced diploma are usually for three years, post-secondary, which is after your um, uh, grade 12 and we're looking at a graduate certificate you need a bachelor's degree from here it's actually the 16th year of your education our advanced diplomas would be your 12 13 uh, and, and sorry the, the 12 13 14 the 15, what do you say so the 13 14 and 15th year uh, mm -hmm. however the graduate certificates are the year of your education and um, if you've done a three years bachelor from here and you graduate certificates you've completed 16 years of education Advanced mm -hmm. diploma will still be at the undergraduate level. And uh, the advertising digital media management program is at the postgraduate level or a graduate certificate, uh, which is for one year. Okay, great. There we go. Falguni is asking, I've applied for culinary management a diploma program. Yesterday I received, uh, uh, okay, it wasn't accepted. Uh, as she's not eligible for the program due to the, her IELTS score, which is 5.5. I think you've already just uh, said Big that. Point, but yeah. is, it, is it possible for me to get in for Jan 2021 due to some portal glitch? I had to upload my documents again. And after this, 
Uh, okay, so basically, Falguni, you will have to retake the test. We'll mm -hmm. need overall six, nothing less than six for culinary management. Once yeah, you take the test, let yeah. us know. Uh, we'll see if we have seats available. We will try again for you for January. Yeah. Doesn't matter which intake, I guess the IELTS score is yeah. standard, what is required, basically. Uh, Priyanka is asking, I'd like to know the number of days to get an offer letter. Can Is there an approximate time <laughs> uh, when one can accept, you know, expect it? Minimum 15 to 20 days for the ID to be generated from the day you apply. Mm -hmm. Another 15, 20 days is the fastest we can do. So we're, we're full of applications and mm -hmm. due to uh, COVID-19 and the pandemic, you know, people, we are, everybody short-staffed. And the workload is uh, almost triple or four times the normal workload. Uh, mm -hmm. It is taking that amount of time uh, for, for students to get offer. I, I'll say minimum four weeks. But depending on how, how we're progressing into the intake, it would be faster. But look at three to four weeks, please. Yeah. And uh, of course, if they provide all the right documentation, the idea is that yes, yes, that's what I mentioned. Faster. So if the uh, application is complete, it comes in fifteen days, and another five days gets assessed, or ten days get boom, you you have the offer. But Great. but if the details are incorrect, even if the gender is incorrect or the date of birth is incorrect, uh, correcting that is it's a long process and mm. and takes takes minimum fifteen more days, twenty more days, and and then it'll come back, and then another five days assessment. So that's like you're losing one and a half months. Okay. All right. Um, Sirajuddin is interested in doing project management. I think you've already covered quite a bit on yep. project management. Yep. So we will just go ahead with the next question. Yogeshwar is asking, um, he's actually interested in doing a master's in pharmacy and medical. Uh, don't have a master's, have a compressed fast track in uh, food science, that is chemical laboratory technology, pharmaceutical and food science. Uh, for one year, uh, mm -hmm. that's the program. It's, uh, it's a compressed fast track for one year. With uh, it's a completely lab-based program, and uh, the career outcomes is of a quality analyst and a quality compliance uh, mm -hmm. professional. That's what the program is. Perfect. Uh, we've already, already answered this the question, yeah. so that is done. Kenneth is saying um, he's wants to do a two years PG program in business or management. Would that be uh, only available? one year each, Kenneth. So you can club two one-year programs to study for two years. That's possible, mm -hmm. one after the other. But most mm -hmm. of these programs are one year. Okay, perfect. Uh, can you please say a little more about AI implementation and design course for Jan 21? Can stu students visit the AI Hub at, even in the COVID situation? Not as a no, I don't think so. You'll be visiting the AI hub uh, in, in COVID-19 situation unless you're required to be there. If you're mm -hmm. required to be there, then yes. Uh, keeping the social distancing and other uh, norms in place, you will be yeah. required to go there. But let me, let me have a look if, if that's... And is it open for yeah. Jan 21, Zishan? Yes, it's open for Jan 21. Perfect. Uh, the program is going to be remote for the first okay. uh, semester, so I don't think you're required to come to the campus at all. Mm -hmm. uh, your third term in this program is an optional co-op, which means that's when you'll be required to be there if you qualify for the co-op or you make it uh, to the co-op. Uh, so this program is usually for two semesters, and it says optional mm -hmm. third semester work term. So if you qualify for it, which means your CGPA or GPA is sitting at three, above 3.5 on a scale of 4, and you've uh, appeared for the interview and shortlisted and selected, then the third, uh, entire third semester is paid and, and it's work term. Okay. The first semester, you don't have to be there at the artificial intelligence, so don't worry. Uh, the third semester takes care of that. Great. Ravi Kumar is asking, um, September 21 intake for data analytics or data sciences or business intelligence course on a PG level, I guess that's what Yes, available, saying. yes. Data analytics available for September 21, graduate certificate program one year. Perfect. Uh, what is the criteria for doing a master's in mental health? Uh, it's not a master's in mental health. The program's called Addictions in Mental Health. It's a graduate certificate, like postgraduate mm -hmm. diploma for one year. And uh, you need a bachelor's in psychology honors. 
three subjects with the name of introductory psychology, abnormal psychology, and developmental psychology. All three will have to be above 70% in each. And okay. the overall percentage should be 67, above 67.5% for the bachelor's. Uh, so you qualify, you qualify for the program. The IELTS requirement is overall six, nothing less than six. Perfect. Just once again, sharing that I'm taking in questions from like chronologically. So just wait, uh, we will get to your question. If even if it's, you know, if you're messaging it right now, we will definitely get to it. Uh, next, hello, I passed my MBBS three months ago. I'm looking to do an MD. Can you elaborate on that? We don't have a program like that. I'm sorry. You'll have to check a university in Canada, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm afraid I would not be able to help you in this regard. Sorry okay. about that. Uh, next, uh, I only have an IELTS overall band of six with two bands of 5.5. .5. Is that a problem? But yes, it, it is. On the program? Uh, yes, it is. No, 5.5 .5 is not acceptable at all. So, mm -hmm. yes, minimum uh, band has to be six and the overall six. All right. Uh, could you tell us about industrial or manufacturing engineering? Um, I have mechanical engineering, uh, technician and uh, technology production and designing for two years or uh -huh. three years uh, as a diploma and advanced diploma. And um, that's about it, yeah. Okay. Uh, Bharat is asking again. Um, I think he has already asked some question, but let's just see. My uh, He graduated in 2016 in mechanical with three years experience now, twice rejected for Sorry. September 2019 intake Sorry. for a Canadian college. I'm um, sorry, yes. Yeah. And no yeah, no worries. Um, IELTS is six to, uh, IELTS was less. I guess that's why the rejection happened. Uh, course was ESL with robotics and automation. Now his IELTS is seven and six, which is great. Backlogs 10 with 61%. Please suggest a course related to mechanical or management or supply chain or project management for <coughs> Jan 21. Uh, okay, so IELTS now looks fine. Overall seven, nothing less than six. You said yeah. the backlogs is 10. I hope the number of re attempts in the backlogs in total are 10 and it does not exceed 10. Uh, if 61% is fine, uh, we don't offer ESL, so IELTS is okay. Mm -hmm. uh, mechanical engineering, I have a non destructive evaluation fast track program for one year. And in the second year, for the second year, you can study project management. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Ekta is asking, do you accept a mathematics bachelor's degree for an, for astronomy graduate course if that's available? Hi, Ekta, I don't have no astrono uh, ast whatever, astronomy. Astronomy. Yeah. yeah, don't have no astronomy, but um, data analytics for business decision making. Yes, we accept bachelor's in mathematics. Perfect. Uh, project management course details. Um I think you've already shared that, Zishan, right? Yeah. Uh, Siraj, it's a one-year graduate certificate. Fees about 15500 Canadian dollars. Overall, mm -hmm. 6.5 required nothing less than 6. Available for Jan, May, and September. Perfect. Uh, Iman is asking, my bachelor's is, uh, I think he's been doing it 2005. in 2005. Yeah. I, uh, does that mean he can't do an education diploma? Uh, not with us, I'm afraid. Uh, if you apply, the application will be rejected because uh, the gap is too okay. much. Even with the work experience, it's more than it's it's like 15 years. Uh, we're right. not looking at anything beyond five years. But if you look at a university, you may be able to get a chance. Okay, perfect. But when there's a question, I think I've already answered. Yes, dental, dental hygiene he was covered already. Bilal is asking, is there a pharma course available under PG? Yes, uh, under PG. Uh, compressed fast track advanced diploma one year, uh, mm -hmm. chemical laboratory technology, pharmaceutical and food sciences. Okay, great. So Bilal, please check out those courses. Uh, Raj is asking, I think he's interested in artificial intelligence analysis. Uh, I, this seems to be a very popular course. Clearly, yeah, it is. Yes, for, see, the region where we are is the technology hub. Uh, ah, the, right. 
Toronto and the Greater Toronto area for Canada. So a lot of a lot of job opportunities uh, and um, and industry in in these fields for AI, data analytics, cybersecurity, computer programming, mm -hmm. uh, technicians, um, and and information technology. So um, Raj has completed a BE uh, in computer engineering, I think this year. He has two backlogs, a CGP of 7.78. Yeah, it looks fine, uh, Anand yeah. to me. The only problem is yeah. with the IELTS. Uh, you will have to retake the IELTS, Raj. Uh, other than that, it looks fine. You can apply mm -hmm. to the artificial intelligence program uh, on the basis of 6.5, nothing less than 6. Okay, perfect. Mobin is asking, uh, I'll be giving my IELTS on the 17th of November. Uh, is it too late for May intake? No, I don't think it's too late. Also, depends on which program are you looking at. Maybe that programs aren't running in May, uh, yeah. but only in September, but it's, it's still not late. Okay, perfect. So applications would be open, I think, in November as well, right? Okay, next. Uh, job. <laughs> that's very, Kenneth, that's a very, very uh, open sort of uh, <laughs> I can answer that a bit. I will not tell him uh, job opportunities, but you know, I can share a bit of background on things. So uh -huh. uh, let's talk about a college. College would do programs that are skill-based programs. And mm -hmm. why are they called skill-based programs? Why? Because they're connecting with the industry and the markets to understand what are their needs uh, for a professional that will work at that level. So let's say if I'm a business executive, what mm -hmm. is required from a company from me to uh, to be able to exhibit, to be able to get that job. Right. Now, the, if the, the, the college knows this, they're building a module on the basis of a requirement, which is there in the market. Mm -hmm. Which means if I'm running a marketing specialized diploma and the content that I'm covering in the program will mm -hmm. land the student in a job which is related to marketing because that's what's required. That's how the program is being tailored. Now, mm -hmm. and how colleges work is like, they're the region where they are. The idea is to enrich the community and uh, and and you know push forward things that you can uh, grow more, and mm -hmm. and so work towards the community. And all these jobs or all these skills are in the region where the colleges are. So let's say if Durham region is the 45 kilometer stretch, and we mm -hmm. do about 140 full time programs. I'm just talking mm -hmm. a 45 kilometer stretch. That skill has been picked up from the 45 kilometer stretch, brought onto the table. Uh, mm -hmm. A syllabus or a mode of study has been designed, created with practicals related to it. And then the student completes that and gets back to the same market. Right. Good job. So if you're talking about job opportunities, if you're looking to study at a college, you're, you're looking to do a program which is market driven and job oriented. Now different mm -hmm. programs and different skills, depending on a lot of factors, may range, may go down or go up, but you're looking at the graduation employment rate of the college, which is sitting at 86.5%. Uh, I think there are good, ample job opportunities. That's why it's yeah. such so high. For sure. Okay. Uh, next, Sudhir is saying, I, do you have any courses in physics? I'm afraid for that, you'll have to look at a university. You don't have a program in physics. Okay. Uh, Kriti is saying, what kind of opportunities are available for PG programs in biological sciences like pharma sciences? Uh, Kriti, uh, I need to know what bachelor's you have completed and mm -hmm. I need to know some relevant subjects. If it is microbiology, then I'm afraid I don't have a program for you. But if you've done something uh, which has a lot of chemistry in it, then yes, pharmaceuticals based program, environ environment based programs, uh, biotechnology as well. Uh, Jeshri is saying she's, uh, she's doing a master's in medical and psychiatric social work. Would like to know about eligibility criteria for the courses like palliative care, autism, behavioral science, or mental health addiction. Okay, so there are two of them we offer, which is addictions in mental health and autism and behavioral science. You need a bachelor's of psychology, uh, minimum 65% for autism and behavioral science. And mm -hmm. for addictions and mental health is more competitive. So uh, other than the 68% in the bachelor's, you will also need 70% uh, in three individual subjects from your bachelor's of psychology, which is introductory, developmental and abnormal psychology. So uh, these are the requirements. 
perfect. Um, will you provide any scholarships or funding to international students? I think Zishan has already covered that and has also touched upon what are the requirements, especially if it's yeah. an IELTS, IELTS based uh, yeah. scholarship. Um, I have got admission. This is from Anne Mary again to Durham College for data analytics. Same for question. Business so, no scholarship on seven. I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, if you want to, uh, yeah, no, there's, there's <laughs> not possible. Uh, IELTS requirement for the diploma, but for most of them, overall six, nothing less than six. Mm -hmm. Uh, for social services workers, 6.5, nothing less than six. Dental, I think 6.5, nothing less than six. Uh, practical nursing, overall seven, nothing less than 6.5. Um, uh, for most of them, it's overall six, nothing less than six, except for the uh, exception programs that I just shared, and, and maybe police uh, foundations also 6.5. Okay. Uh, Shivani is asking, I finished my post-graduation in medical laboratory technology. I want to apply for May intake. What would be a suitable course? Um, I don't think uh, we have a suitable program after medical laboratory technology. I don't want to offer you a management-based program, though you're eligible for that and you can do it. But mm -hmm. if you're looking at a management-based program, then yes, we have choices. Uh, yeah. um, that'll be project management, but I'm sure you want to get into the laboratory side of your career. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. afraid there's nothing that we ha have to offer to you in May. Okay. Maybe September chemical laboratory technician. Mm -hmm. uh, that That is what we can offer to you in September 21. Great. Shivani, then just look up these two courses and see what would be applicable to you. Arya is asking about a social service worker course. Uh, if I choose to study online, can I do it without AIP as it won't be given for Jan 21 intake. Okay. I don't know, uh, Arya, if you've applied or not. Okay, let's okay. say let's say you've applied, you've got the offer letter, you made the fee payment, and now you've applied for the visa. And your question is, can I choose to study online? Can I do it without the AIP? No. You need the AIP to start your classes online. Even if it's online, you need an AIP. If you don't have the AIP, you can either change your intake that is what you can do. Okay, great. Uh, Sirajuddin has another question. WES already evaluated both my degree. Uh, should I need? Should I submit transcripts again to the to the college? Please clarify. Yeah, we don't need the WES evaluation, uh, Siraj. Mm -hmm. We'll just need your uh, transcripts or your mark sheets from the university or college. Just make sure mm -hmm. they're notarized and clear scan copies. Perfect. Uh, I think we've already answered Yeah, let me question. answer that once again. Sorry, Kadir. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a program of your choice or in your field. And uh, we're not a university. These uh, such sort of programs are only offered by universities in Canada. And mm -hmm. uh, I would recommend that you do your research, even through, and maybe through Google, and find out what universities offer similar programs. And, and then you can get in touch with their international team to help you or assist you further. Perfect. Next question has also already been answered. Yes. I think you'd said that they need yeah. an, a higher yeah. IELTS score, yeah. right? All right. Offer letter Karen. timelines answered. Yeah. Done. Kenneth, what's the best course for students who want to do business? Uh, okay. It's like asking me to choose between chocolate and <laughs> vanilla. Uh, it depends on what you like and what's mm -hmm. your interest. There's scope for everything and especially mm -hmm. where the resources are ample and people are less, there's more scope for things and things grow. And um, you just need to decide on what's your interest. Uh, we'll have programs at the undergraduate level in the fields of marketing, supply chain, human resource, music, sports, um, mm -hmm. accounts, finance, at the postgraduate level at data analytics, international business, human resource and project management. Great. Uh, Joseph is saying uh, IELTS requirement is overall six and two bands 5.5. Does that no? I guess you don't accept the 5.5, right? No, no, no. I think we've answered uh, it's, it needs yeah, a 6.5, nothing less than six. We've answered that. Yeah. This is also okay. Answer, the questions yeah. are getting repeated. I think because we took a little time to get to it, so they posted their questions again. Uh, job experience. Or six 
of 16 years of education is mandatory. Okay, 16 years of education. No, is we mandatory? accept 15 years of education. Uh, you can apply to graduate certificate programs with this. Uh, 15 years of education the only thing is when you have an academic gap that should be backed up with some work experience oh, perfect Zishan just to point out uh, we've covered 80 questions wow wow <laughs> and we have uh, well one, one third to go great we're all set to answer these as well okay. let's hit a century mm -hmm. uh, Priyanka is saying I applied for autism and behavioral science PG diploma can you tell me about the cost for international students? Um, the, the cost is about uh, 15,300 Canadian dollars uh, for the program. Okay. And is that for a semester? One year, one academic year, 15,000, uh, yeah, 15,300 Canadian dollars international fee. Perfect. Uh, that's an approximate fee, but mm -hmm. around the same. All right. Uh, Parvinder is interested uh, to know about uh, eligibility for a master's in health administration. Oh, we don't have that, I'm afraid. I don't run a master's okay. program in master's in health administration. Okay. Done. Uh, okay, this question has already been Answer. answered. Already answered. And again, uh, I've completed my graduation in medical library, uh, laboratory in molecular diagnostic technician, three years, post-graduation in medical laboratory technician, one year. What course would be suitable for yeah, me? Only chemical laboratory. Me? Yeah, only chemical laboratory technician. That's in September 21. It's a two years diploma. Okay. Other than that, I would not have a program of your um, uh, your field. Right. Um, Shirley is asking about uh, co-op for autism studies. Let me have a look. There's a field placement. Sure. Um uh, two field placements with the program. I'm sure it's uh, one in the first and the other one in the second semester. Mm -hmm. Yes, field placement for the program available for the semester okay. provided to you by the college. You just need yeah. to make sure you complete the field placement to complete the program. Okay, great. Then, uh, what are the courses uh, related to mental health for PG diploma? Uh, addictions and mental health. health. One year graduate certificate. Oh, great. Okay. And autism and behavioral science. That is also, I see, a pretty popular course. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think I just missed one question. I think Ankit wanted uh, your email to be uh, shared. I said, shared the Durham College email address with him. Perfect. Okay. Uh, if anyone else is interested in getting in touch with Durham, Directly, Zishan has already shared uh, the email. Let me put that in uh, the chat box. Uh, at the yeah, you can share it with panelists yeah. and attendees. All panel, then all attendees. Yeah. Attendees. Yep. There we go. It's S E A at Durham College. That's D U R H A M college.ca you'd be able to see the email in the chat uh, moving on jeshri is asking about the scope for autism addiction and mental health sure uh, could be a behavioral technician instructor uh, instructor therapist uh, in school boards early intervention programs clinical programs uh, maybe community agencies and public or private sector agents okay great Ekni is saying, what, are the, what is the scope of a counselor there? Uh, if I do a diploma in clinical psychology or counseling or a master's in mental health and addiction, I'm currently pursuing a BA in psychology. So I want to know a scope of getting a job there so that, you know, she can come to Canada to study. Very competitive program for addictions and mental health. Very good scope, highly paid. Uh, you'll find the stats in the graduation employment grade if you look for, uh, look for it. And... Um, I'll tell you what are the places you find a job, what places you could be working at. So you could be an addictions, uh, addictions counselor, a housing stability counselor, psychoeducator, that's what they say, mental health wellness counselor, addictions okay. and mental health rehab support worker. You could work at a correctional facility, group home, adult shelter, youth mental health agency, 
um, alcohol and drug treatment centers and community mental health agencies. Wow. So a lot of scope for this program, very popular mm. program with our. Yeah. And Canada yeah. invests a lot in health and community services and mm. science, entering technology, all of this, and good payout for students from health and community services. Great. Uh, Rahul is saying that he has a bachelor's in computer applications, overall 63%, working as a senior analyst in medical billing revenue cycle management firm. Uh, Data analytics for business decision making, cybersecurity, uh, artificial intelligence analysis, and project management. The four programs are history. Okay, great. Um, Imaja is saying, uh, I completed MBA Finance 22, just passed out. Will I be el eligible to do a mas double master's at Durham? If MS is not possible, what programs could I be eligible to apply so for? You don't, we don't do a double master's. You can do two uh, postgraduate diplomas, one after the other. Uh, mm -hmm. Options, if your bachelor's is also in the field of business or commerce or finance, then mm -hmm. maybe a program like international business management, project management, data analytics, and human resources. So you can club any two, study both of them one after the other uh, right. and complete your two years of academic study. Perfect. Uh, Mubin is saying, uh, advertising digital media and management, I want to take up this course. I'll be applying it in a week. That's great. Is there anything that you need from me like now? Uh, is there anything nothing, else? Uh, nothing now, Mobin. Uh, just make sure your application is complete. And um, uh, that's all I can say. Yeah. And get those details right. Yeah. Just, so that yeah so sure. I've shared the email address uh, in the chat box. If you have any questions, yeah. you can always write to us. Yeah. Great. And all the best for your application. Um, Ekni, okay, has come back again and said to clarify, did you, did you say that we can combine two different diplomas to get a master's? Uh, I did say that you can study two different uh, graduate yeah. certificate or postgraduate diplomas, one after the uh, other. However, there'll never be a master's. It's not mm -hmm. a master's and they're not yeah. combining. You're studying them one after the other. Yeah. Okay, Himaja has something else. Uh, are you offering PhD programs? Only universities mm -hmm. in Canada offer such programs. Got it. Hello, Pranay. Uh, if you have a question, please share it with us. Um, I would like to know about your placement assistance. What kind of companies come for placements? I guess this depends on what you actually want to do. Yeah, but uh, I'll tell you about the placement assistance. We have yeah. the career services at the college. They start working mm -hmm. with you from the second day of your uh, intake start or your semester yeah. start. Uh, the mm -hmm. CV building, resume writing content, workshops, uh, preparing you for the interview, doing mock interviews with you helping you or assisting you in finding a job, uh, yep. organizing job fairs twice a year for you. Uh, more than 100 companies or employers come and attend the job fair. And I'll be open mm -hmm. to all of you uh, and right. give you access to online job portal for two years after graduating from the college. Wow. Okay. Um, Manveen is asking, can we travel if our program is interactive media design for Jan 21? If you get a visa and all the necessary documents, yes, Manveen, you can fly to Canada. Um, uh, like I mentioned, yes, Durham College is open and uh, authorized by the government to welcome students to Canada. Yeah. Great. Kenneth has another question. Um, uh, we can have a go with the one plus one PG course for two years. Uh, okay, and what kind of work permit would, would that get? Them? I'm not an expert in that field, but maximum three years. Yeah. Yeah, I believe, yeah, it's two to three years if you've done an equal number of years of studying. Um, pra okay, Prane has a question for us now. I've completed my BTEC in 2018 ECE. I've also done a PGP in data science engineering, but I've not completed my full course. Um, so I'm interested to study data sciences and I'm a fresher. My IELTS score was 6.5 band. Does fresher, do freshers get jobs? And is a two-year PG available for AI and data science courses? Lots of things. <laughs> I would I'd love to answer the question, do freshers uh, get jobs? Uh, but I'll start with <laughs> by the rest of his things. Yeah. Uh, great, great that your IELTS score is 6.5. Uh, sorry to hear that you're not going to complete your data science program. 
We can offer you data analytics for business decision making definitely as the first year program. And uh, it is a one year uh, graduate certificate. And the other program could be project management. Yes, with the ECE, we can offer you data analytics and cybersecurity and project management, all three. Uh, coming to the question, do freshers <laughs> get jobs? Uh, you got to name someone who did not start fresh. <laughs> I haven't known anyone. So yes, freshers get jobs. Uh, every Some or the other one, everybody would have started the first time and they would have been a fresher in their job. Me, yeah. uh, maybe Anam, you as well. You would have had your yeah. first day of job. Everybody is a fresher and they get a job. And uh, that's how things start. Yes, freshers do get job. That's how it will start. Uh, if your question is whether you get a job or not, a lot depends on you, Pranay. And uh, like with the program and uh, the level of understanding about the program, you're, yeah. you see the graduation employment rate is above 86%, which is higher than the provincial uh, graduation employment rate, about 4% higher. And um, yes, so you've got to put that effort from your end as well. We will assist you, but it's you're the one who's going to click in the interview and get yourself the job. So yes, freshers do get a job and good luck uh, to that. Great. All right. Arunima uh, is saying if students opt for co-op work permit after a one year graduation, then uh, they have it only for, for a year. So what can we do to extend the co-op if our internship demands it? You can't extend the co-op. Your internship will not demand it. I'll tell you, I, I, I think she, uh, two things are mixed here. You're talking yeah. about a post-study work, work permit, permit and then yes. you're talking about a co-op. So I'm sure your question is a work permit, but I'll start with mm. the co-op first and then I'll come to the yeah. work permit. So you got to wait mm -hmm. for the work permit. Um, <laughs> so the co-op is like, it's a specific time and duration that you need to complete at the company to get your degree and everything done. Let's say, for example, what you're saying that you could not do it due to any reason mm -hmm. and, and your term is expiring. And if that's part of the program and needs to be completed, you can extend your study permit from there in Canada. That's one. The second one, the post-study work permit. Um, the co-op is not about the post-study work permit. The co-op is yeah. part of your uh, study permit. Uh, the post-study work permit is a different thing once you've completed with your studies. Co-op's mm -hmm. not part of that. The post-study work permit will, if it is a maximum one year, it'll be a maximum one year. How it can be extended, a visa consultant can tell you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Onkar is asking, uh, with the maths requirement for grade 12, can we apply under 10th grade uh, math? Onkar, if you're talking about percent? programs that need a grade 12th math, they'll need a grade 12th math. Uh, yeah. you, you, even if That's you apply, then you'll get a reject. But if it's a grade 12th mm -hmm. math, it's a grade 12th math. Um, that's what we need. For business programs, mm -hmm. we need grade 10th math for undergraduate diplomas for uh, above 60%. So you're fine with the undergraduate business programs, but mm -hmm. with the science entering technology and computers, you definitely need a grade 12 math uh, above 50%. Shivani is saying, are there any courses related to healthcare for May intake and what would be uh, the eligibility? Dental yeah. assisting, fitness and health promotion, general arts and science, practical nursing and personal support work for May 2021. Okay, great. Uh, Kenneth is thanking you, Zishan. Uh, his doubts have been cleared. Thanks, thanks for being here, Kenneth. I hope uh, we were able to, uh, you know, make it a bit clear for you. I'm sure you will have more questions, but but for now, I think it should be fine. <laughs> uh, Omkar has come back with another question. I have a pharma background in India. Am I eligible for biotech program? But I didn't do maths in twelfth grade. Uh, okay, so if you have a pharmacy background, which means you're looking at a fast track program, most likely, which is for one year, uh, you don't need a grade 12 math for that program. However, you need organic, inorganic, and biochemistry, all three chemistries individually above 60% from the bachelor's, qualify for the biotechnology advanced fast track. Um, Omkar, okay, what is the chances of getting uh, the post of counselor? by doing a diploma over masters? 86.5%. Uh, oh. <laughs> so he's saying that's chances. The... <laughs> so if that's the graduation <laughs> employment rate, I think that's, that's the probability right. or the chances. Yeah. But uh, 
really it's, good chance. It's a very competitive program. It's a very good payout. And um, the masters, you're, if you're looking to do a masters, you're looking at a more research-based or an academic-based job. If mm-hmm. you're looking uh, at a postgraduate diploma, you're looking at a more hands-on job in a counseling, in a visiting, uh, sitting at the centers, talking to people and doing it. So, mm-hmm. uh, so both of these are different fields of jobs uh, in, in the similar field of study. Uh, yeah. So there would be a set of jobs for you, there would be a set of jobs for them and, uh, mm-hmm. and set of jobs for everyone in the world. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, it's, it's, since it's a very competitive program, very good job opportunity in this program. Perfect. Uh, do you offer a degree in computer science software to be specific and in Jan 21? Not a computer science in software. Uh, but a computer systems technician transferred to UIT bachelor's degree, uh, mm-hmm. five semesters at the college. The condition you need to meet is an overall uh, B grade uh, back, with no backlogs in any semester. You enter mm-hmm. the third year of your bachelor's, finish the third and fourth year, bachelor's of information technology, and uh, graduate with a bachelor's degree and an advanced uh, and an applied diploma as well. Okay, great. Down, uh, hi, I'd like to know about PGDM HRM courses like uh, IELTS score, etc. Uh, I have an education gap of nine months after graduation and I've completed my master's in India. Uh, human resources management, three semesters program available in January and September 21. Mm-hmm. IELTS score requirement is overall 6.5, no individual module less than six. Uh, it's okay if you have a gap of nine months after your graduation. Uh, and uh, I hope your master's has been completed recently. Um, um, uh, Jeshi is saying we do medical and psychiatric social work for one year in our master's. Will I be eligible to take up addiction and mental health? I'm afraid no. no. Uh, I told you about the subject requirements. If you have them, mm-hmm. you're welcome. Yeah. Priyanka has another question. Um, uh, I am a speech therapist by profession, completed my bachelor's in 2016 with 56%. Is it possible to take autism and behavioral sciences or any other courses like that? Uh, No, not with the 56%. Or we can offer you developmental services worker, two years diploma, specialized program. Okay. Done. Shelley has another question. With the two years of master's in social work, will I get a chance to study autism or mental health addiction? Uh, need a bachelor's and a master's both in social work and need still need the three subjects of psychology or addiction mm-hmm. and mental health. Okay. Uh, I completed a postgrad in medical laboratory technology. Can I apply for practical nursing? nursing. I'm assuming. Uh, any other courses for uh, okay, I'll tell you what the requirements are. So your grade 12 chemistry, biology and mathematics, all three, uh, 90% and uh, overall seven, nothing less than 6.5. That's the requirement for the program. I'm afraid mm-hmm. uh, with a, a postgraduate in medical lab, you'll not be eligible for practical nursing. Okay. Uh, why is the main take so limited? just to make sure that we're able to cater to the right set of students and not just filling the college. Uh, that is why we run limited programs at limited and at different times, just to make sure we're able to accommodate and service the best we can. That's mm-hmm. why uh, as a college, as our responsibility, we don't think we should just start everything every time and get as many students. This uh, our, our ownership is also towards what you will gain from the program, just to make mm-hmm. that sure. That's why these programs are running in deep family. Okay, great. And uh, and Jan and September are very full though. So, I mean, yeah. you have more yeah, than a lot enough. of programs, like majority of the programs. Yeah. Uh, Mayur is asking, are there any need-based scholarships? I guess he may have missed the presentation. Uh, Only ILTS based or Duolingo or? based. Overall mm-hmm. 8, 2000 Canadian dollars. If you have that in IELTS, overall 7.5, 1250 Canadian dollars. Um, for Duolingo, 125 or above, 1250 Canadian dollars only for the first year to be awarded in the second semester. And would that uh, apply to diploma courses as well? Yes, all the programs. Scholarships? 
every program. Okay. So it's it's not program specific. So it's just the IELTS score specific or the Duolingo score specific. Perfect, Mayur. I hope that helps you. Okay, but you have a long answer. Okay, Zishan, we have come to our last question. Um, right, finally, yes. How many? <laughs> oh wow, not bad, yes. eh? I'm getting close to Shikhar Dhawan. He scored a century two days ago. I made a eight hundred and eighteen. <laughs> That's not bad, eh? Yeah. Uh, okay. Getting to Mayur's question, I have a six point nine GPA in engineering with no backlogs. I've done my B in electronics and telecommunication engineering. I have almost one year of experience as an electronics engineer. I am currently working as a software engineer. I want to do a PG diploma in artificial intelligence. I want to apply for Jan. Can you please guide me? And is there any financial uh, scholarship? Uh, we can offer you data analytics, cybersecurity, and project management. If you complete cybersecurity or data analytics, you may be able to get into artificial intelligence at the basis of uh, electronics and telecommunication, but not from here in India. We'll mm -hmm. have to start with one of the programs that I just mentioned, and the scholarship is only IELTS based. Uh, I just mentioned overall eight is two thousand and seven point five is twelve fifty, and. Um, yeah, that's that's what it is. And uh, uh, Duolingo is 125 for 1250 million Perfect. Arya has asked, I've applied for the social service workers program. Are there any chances to get in for Jan intake? Yes, if you can share your student number, Arya, uh, uh, we can get your application processed. I'm going to ask my team to look into it for you. Uh, you can put that in the chat box or in the Q&A and I'll pick it up from there. Perfect. Um, Arya, please do that. Uh, Priyanka has another question. Uh, development service uh, work course, is it open for Jan? For Jan, let me have a look. Mm, sorry, no. Right, no. Only September 21. Okay. So you have some time to apply. Priyanka. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Yes. so let's just wait for Arya to have uh, to share uh, their ID, right? That's um, great. I'm waiting on her ID. Yeah. But great. I think we've managed to uh, address a lot of questions. Uh, reached one. Yeah, I hope these months. questions were helpful for all of these. Uh, who are still here, and yeah. uh, it does help them decide what they want to do ahead for Canada or Durham College. Mm -hmm. And thanks for sticking with us to the end. I know we are approaching the two hour mark, but uh, thank Let you for staying on. Oh my God, no, <laughs> we still have time. I think we have time on them. We have got another- 10 minutes. Eight, yeah, another <laughs> uh, eight minutes. Let me eight be more minutes <laughs> yeah, I don't mind um, 10 minutes, not a problem with that. Yeah, but- uh, Arya hasn't received a student number Okay, yet. Arya, I'd request you to drop me an email to see at durhamcollege.ca and we will take it further from there. Uh, we'll have to ask for a few questions from you and then maybe you're able to identify uh, or maybe able to identify if uh, your app has been, uh, has come in the system or not. Come in or not. Okay. okay. Perfect. No open questions Thanks. anymore, Zishan. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, uh, Anand. You've been great. You've been great. Thank you for all the help and everybody who's been here at the session today. Uh, thank you for their patience. Welcome to all of you and good luck for your future endeavors. And welcome to Durham College once again. Uh, I would not want to say that we're one of the best. We are one of the best though. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, please look at your options and study what you would want to do. Uh, I mean, what your heart tells you to do. Great. Thank you, Zishan. I think that was a very great, insightful session and you were very patient to take in all the questions um just to let uh, those who are still with us let them know that once you close the webinar a survey for feedback will pop up please share your opinion with us help us get better at what we do if you want to have another one-on-one -on -one with zishan then please mention uh the app links are also going to be mentioned there so please, uh, you know, go through that um, survey feedback. A follow-up email from us will also come to you in a couple of days time. The complete video of this webinar will be shared over there. So if you missed any part of it, then you'll be able to see that. Uh, any more questions as Zishan has already shared with you at SEA, that's C at durhamcollege.ca. It's on our chat window as well. If you want to have a look. Uh, and please remember to download the Durham Assist app.
yep. uh, all the information about the college, latest updates, arrival services, everything is there. Uh, so please feel free to download it from your Android and uh, Apple phones. Thank you once again. It's it's been a great evening, Zishan. Thank and, you, Mikosis. Uh, thank you, Anam, and thank you, everyone. Take care and stay bye. safe. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good luck, guys. Stay safe. Bye bye. Thanks.